yeah, so today is canceled. I need my thumbnail now. <laughs> so they're sending more uh, tow trucks and um, big rigs through. This is another tow truck. And they sent through three plows. So good thing I didn't leave previously because they sent through um, two more regular plows and then one that had like wings on it, which is why they could plow a little bit further out. Um, it's still snowing and it's still icing over and there's still ice down there. So continuing to sit tight. I wonder if there's more people that crash because there's like seven of these uh, big tow trucks that came through and then I'm seeing traffic coming through on the road back there. So maybe they're opening the freeway up. Uh, the sun is trying. Come on, Mr. Sun. I see you. I see you in the clouds. I see you right there. Come on, come out and play. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I don't have any chains and I was contemplating buying chains. They're not required for cars, only for CMV. Oh, I see they're opening the freeway over there. So I guess they were closed too. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna wait like another hour. Okay, the tow driver is making me drive, so I think I'm good now. Okay, we're good. This is terrifying. Bye bye, cars. Stay safe. This is much better. So I'm uh, heading toward Denver and then I am going to Rocky Mountain National Park. I'm going to go up to Estes Park um, uh, town. Uh, there's some things in there. There's actually like a few little sites. There's a gondola uh, as well. Um, and then hopefully the weather's not too bad. If it's like this, this is perfect. So I'm a couple miles from Denver. Um, it's funny, they have these, not funny, but they have these runaway truck ramps that just go straight up the hill. So uh, we're on pretty much a 4%, 6% grade. And if a truck goes out of control, they just go off this ramp right here. And then they can go up the, up the hill instead of going down the hill and slamming into people. Um, so it's really, this is like the worst freeway in the world. This is so dangerous. Um, but people just go crazy on it, you know, because they're just in a hurry to get across Colorado. I'm in the slow lane. I don't care if I'm in the slow lane, you know, safety third. visitor center um, in the Rocky Mountain National Park. This is the Estes Park entrance and it's snowing and it's sunny and there's an American flag. Can't get any more American than this. I saw a stag. It's amazing. So I'm going to go in see what this is about. There is horse riding. Maybe that'll be my activity. Although it is snowing and it's kind of cold. It's about 46 degrees right now. So we'll see. So this is what happens when you're the guy that shows up without a permit, you have to be Bobby. It says right there, attention, permits between nine and three. And if you go on the uh, National Park Service website, it'll tell you that you have to have a permit. So don't play stupid and be like, oh, I didn't know. Of course you know. <laughs> I mean, look, like this guy's probably fighting with the guy at the front, the ranger's probably getting upset and they're probably gonna fight their way in. It's like, don't do that, dude. Okay, the rest of us drove a very long way to get here and did everything correctly. And the one guy at the front's got to ruin it for everybody. So just don't be that guy or girl or whatever. Okay, just don't be that person. Okay, so if you have the um, Bear Lake Road uh, timed entry, and I'm an hour late, but they're fine. Um, I think it's just mostly just to keep capacity down. Um, so you get this gigantic yellow sticker and they'll flag you through and then it's basically the only stop sign you see. You turn left and then go down Bear Creek. There is a hike at the end of it, which I will do. It's like three miles and I will do that hike. I have determined. This is absolutely freaking gorgeous, people. Ah, 
America, why do you have such crappy politics when you have such a beautiful country? Oh my God, anyway. So yeah, so yeah, so make sure you get your reservations. Um, it's starting to get busy. So, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't leave till the last minute and be that guy that's still back there arguing with the, <laughs> with the ranger. Rangers are awesome. Oh my God, so happy. Creek entrance um, so you make a left and then you make a right and um, they are checking that you have the yellow sticker on your car um, and then once you do that you can drive they have like a, a wilderness center at the very end it's like a little um, it like loops around you and then you come back so it's a dead end um, but there's a hiking trail at the end of that that's I think three miles or four miles um, it's snowing a little bit some snow flurries it is 48 degrees. This is gorgeous. Um, yeah, it's uh, massive. This park is huge. Like the campsite, I can't even get to the campsite tonight, even if I wanted to. Um, but uh, they said the road to it has been closed because it has the same weather that I was in this morning on the I-70. So um, yeah, just kind of uh, waiting for permits. Again, there shouldn't be a line because we all have a sticker. So there's probably somebody that tried to get in up there is probably arguing again with the ranger like don't argue with people like don't throw tantrums to get free tickets there's influencers that do that like please don't don't be those people you ruin it for everyone else and then you hold everybody up and you know it's massive big long line and they should just flag us through because we have a yellow sticker and no there's that that van lifer up at the front who didn't have one so they're gonna have to be you know turn around so anyway don't be that person please Millennials say, go to the Rocky Mountain National Park, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It is now in a full-blown blizzard. Jesus, people. All right, um, I'm only like a mile from the trailhead. I don't know if I'll do a hike up here. I might have to, have to head back toward the front of the park. Here's the trailhead for the glacial, uh, the glacier gorge. And that's where the three mile hike is. Um, the weather is really bad, so I'm just gonna go use the potty and then turn around and head back. I just don't want to be stuck up here. It's already 34 degrees. It went down from 47 to 34. So I'm just going to park over here and um, use the potty and then head back and then go do a hike. I think there's a really good hike that was a little bit uh, right before you get on Bear Lake Road. So I think I'm going to do that. Oh my God. Holy crap, people. All this snow. Okay, I'm going back to the front of the park. <laughs> ah, I think I've had enough snow for about the rest of my life right now. Never thought I'd miss Texas. <laughs> I'm gonna say the thing you're not supposed to say. Don't do this, dude. Like it's the busiest day of the year, something like that. And you wanna take four spaces because you're in this RV thing. Not cool. Okay, I'm finally getting a hike in. I'm gonna do this uh, four and a half mile hike out and back. And I've got like my little bear bell <laughs> and I've got a uh, bear spray somewhere back there, down there. And uh, yep, there's my bear spray and I'm branded. I've got my Rocky Mountain National Park hat and sweatshirt. They didn't really have a lot of uh, options, but it's good for me. It's 32 degrees and it feels great. Um, 
it's clearing up but i think up on the bear lake road it's still kind of nasty so i am just going to figure out where i'm going i think i go through that gate there this is good no one's hiking i mean think about the national parks is that most people are tourists from other places so especially if they're in a car they may not have you know all the seasons of clothing like us fan lifers tend to have like i've got a winter box a summer box spring and so on um but yeah so uh what's uh interesting is you know mostly they just drive and get out take pictures which is great i mean you're on vacation um and you get you don't get a lot of like locals um really like you would at the state parks that's why i really like the state park system a lot better national parks you have to go to i mean obviously um but this is great feels really great really cold i have gloves as well it's snowing i've got snow flurries on my arm right now you can see them right there okay so let's do this so glad i got here so glad i'm actually stretching my legs today <laughs> oh god what a what a day i thought this morning was the end I thought that was it i was gonna die on a mountain <laughs> so my dear prudence so there's also horse riding uh there's some stables around here so i think this is definitely a redo um hopefully come back with harriet one day um so we can do some horse riding and camping um and you know do some more mountain hiking um but it's good this is good for now very 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 pretty you can see all the snow that's right extreme close-up and then they have cabins or people's houses i don't know if people live here it's all like little house on the prairie <laughs> lots of van lifers look how blue that sky is that's not even a filter that's the freaking sky people and there's prudence styrofoam pieces sorry for the annoying bell it's my bear bell uh yeah so i'm deciding to go hike in a circle and go past the uh campsite although it's a freaking blizzard right now you cannot see it but i have to get over to that road over there so um it's about probably uh, i've done i've done i've hiked um hang on Come on. I've hiked uh, two miles and uh, 2.13 miles. So this hike is out and back. So it's 2.3 miles and I'm 2.13. So I'm gonna touch another trail. Ah, I got snow in my eye. Ah, yeah, so I'm gonna go um, attach to another trail and walk toward the road, go up to the campsite and then take, uh, walk through the campsite, and take a little trail back to the parking lot. This is fine for me. <laughs> I'm all wearing flip-flops and going to Lake Visitor Center. Um, yeah, so I saw something. I think it was a gazelle or elk or something like that. But anyway, so yeah, you can see snow's pretty bad. And uh, yeah, this weather, thank God I wasn't up on the uh, Bear Lake Road. I still am on Bear Lake Road. I'm just not on the, uh, the bit that was like all slicky slick. Okay, so a little bit further and then uh, to the to the hike to the road and then back to prudence and then i'm heading back to manatee springs it's about two and a half hour drive two and a half hour drive so it should be pretty easy just straight down the freeway through boulder and golden again then through denver through colorado springs and i have a really nice airbnb just to prove it's snowing i got snow on my arm and i'm branded 
head to toe for Rocky Mountain National Park. Okay, I keep my keep my bell going, <laughs> and I have my uh, my whistle as well, which uh, is good for scaring away bears and creepy men. <laughs> which you see more probably creepy men on these trails than you see bears. All right, okay, keep going. So now I'm hiking from here and I hiked all the way through those uh, that forest right there, all the way past that tree and then around there's a waterfall and then over here. It's snowing again but this is the campsite and it was supposed to be full. And it's already almost four o'clock. I don't see anyone here in this back one. Although there's an RV over there, so maybe they do what I do and just stay in the van. Anyway, um, so this is uh, not part of the original trail that I was going to go on. That one would have backtracked the way that I came through the forest. And I thought I'd like to take a little bit of a detour. So I'm now up here, kind of on this uh, ledge area. and uh, it's really nice, um, nice view, different terrain. And I do a lot of like forest hiking, so it's nice to kind of be in something a little bit different. Um, anyway, so yeah, so I'm gonna just go around here. This loops back to the main road, across the road is where Prudence is. And yeah, that's it. So there's a lot of like burnout trees and dead trees around, but those are good for the environment because the minerals, I learned this somewhere, uh, the minerals actually enrich the earth. And hey, look, there's snow. It's snowing. So yeah, so thankfully I'm toward the front of the park. So um, I'm still on Bear, Bear Lake Road, but once I get to the main road, um, it's pretty easy to get uh, out of the park through Estes. I don't need any more gas, I've got enough gas. And then I head to Manitou Springs. And then you'll see that on a different video of uh, Pikes Peak Cog Railway, which I'm also super excited for. So yeah, so I'll finish up this hike and then uh, see you on my way out. I just walked through the campsite. Looks kind of nice, lots of bear lockers. Um, a lot of people just in their RVs at the campsite and one van lifer. And then one guy with a um, pickup truck with a clamshell, I think it's called. I don't know all the names of like the stuff that aren't vans. So like the uh, TT fifth wheel, uh, TT fifth wheel trailer, RV, uh, teardrop. Uh, tab trailer. <laughs> I don't know. I did actually look at some of those things before I decided to buy Prudence. Anyway, so this is the way back now. So I'm just going to go back across this gigantic field um, back to Prudence. And so it's about a mile from here, actually three quarters mile. And uh, this freaking bear bell. <laughs> actually, I'm like uh, using it as kind of my soundtrack right now. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, no, I'm not one of those people that blast music while I'm hiking. I'm like, seriously, can you at least like, you know, enjoy the screams of nature around you? <laughs> okay, all right, well, no bears in this bit. Pretty sure no bears there. I'm gonna put the bear bell away. All right, okay. So there's a field of, uh, field of deer over there, you know. <laughs> Everybody gets out like lemmings. Um, yeah, it's just funny. <laughs> Some guy earlier, I was just, I don't know. Um, but anyway, they were like trying to like hog the photo. So they were going right up close, like in the bit where you're not supposed to walk and they had the big ass camera and they were influencers. And I'm like, dude, no one cares. <laughs> Actually, they probably care. They probably have like 100,000 subscribers, but don't be those people. Like just because you have, oh shit, just because you have a following of some sort, 
don't feel like you have to ruin it for people that just want to be here to enjoy it you know so again this is like life lessons i've been doing this for 22 years and I've met a lot of people along the way. I've traveled with different people. I've traveled solo. And there's a lot of do's and don'ts. And it's not because we want you to have less fun if you're doing the don'ts. It's just that we want everybody to have fun. So do the do and, do the, and don't do the don'ts or something. Okay, all right, back to Prudence.